Hello, good morning, wherever you are. Welcome to Backyard Farms and uh, hope we learn together uh, this day. It's been a while since we last uploaded. Uh, sorry for that to our subscribers. And uh, let's, let's learn together. Today we are going to look uh, at how uh, the advantages of uh, having this uh, Kenyaji chicken or locally uh, local chickens vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the exotic chickens. So we are going to look at uh, the advantages of having these indigenous chickens or the local chickens vis-a-vis -vis the exotic chickens. First of all, uh, we see that uh, these local chickens have a, a relatively uh, slow growth rate. That can be a, a viewed as both as a disadvantage and also an advantage because the slow growth rate ensures that the, the chicken or the bird grows optimally. It achieves its, its optimal maturity in its lifespan rather than an exotic bird that will take uh, two or uh, three months and it's fully grown. So that's one of the advantages because at the end of the day, when you eat a bar like that, you find that their meat is better. Their meat tastes better compared to these other exotic parts. Uh, an advantage number two is that when it comes to feeds, uh, uh, birds that are uh, uh, locally sourced, like you can see here, they can literally eat anything. You are seeing here they are eating termites. So they can eat literally anything from chicken scraps. You can have chicken scraps from your, your, your chickens, from your kitchens. They can also eat that. They can also scratch uh, just around the backyards. They can also eat fodder. They can eat grass. They can eat vegetables. They can eat fruits. So they can eat basically like everything. So when it comes to feed, feeds, the cost that you will spend in uh, feeding your uh, local chickens compared to exotic chickens, the cost is dramatically reduced. So that's uh, another of the advantage. Another advantage is that their immunity, their immunity is uh, relatively higher. Uh, they are more immune to uh, diseases compared to exotic birds because their bodies are because of years of living in the same environment, their bodies have developed uh, immunity to particular uh, diseases. So your cost, uh, the cost that you use maybe to buy your medicines to treat or the cost that comes from your birds dying is low when you have a local birds compared to when you're having exotic birds. Another thing is that the laying period. The laying period is relatively longer because for locally birds, they can lay for like up to four or five years. You can have them still laying. Exotic birds, they lay up to one and a half years. If they go uh, longer, maybe two years, they are no longer laying. So the laying period is longer. And you find that their eggs are tastier, their meats are tastier, as I've said. So those are, that's also an uh, advantage when it comes to this uh, locally source birds. Then uh, uh, we can also look at things like uh, locally, like in the Kenyan market, we find that the local birds, their prices are relatively higher compared to exotic birds. You'll see that uh, one local bird will go for maybe uh, cock will go for upwards of a thousand Kenya shillings, a hen, a good hen will go for upwards of 800 Kenya shillings. Compared to these exotic birds, like a, a broiler will go for maybe 300 Kenya shillings, that's three dollars. So you can see the difference in, in, the, in, the, in the pricing. Although the local birds will take longer to grow, but you can see that they are taking longer, they are eating less, and the, their prices will be definitely higher. Uh, another thing is that uh, the produce from these local birds uh, can be of a very good benefit to people who have uh, uh, some uh, diseases, uh, lifestyle diseases, because uh, particularly stuff like red meat uh, that's locally grown, that has no uh, 
a farmer has not used uh, so much of uh, uh, medicines or maybe other other feeds that are mixed with so much things those are uh, mostly recommended so that's another advantage of this locally uh, but you can see here they're just feeding on uh, some feeds uh, that uh, has been processed from uh, maize i think it's particularly maize maize bran and you can see these are the birds just sell the local birds they have access to, to to pasture so they can eat the pasture at the same time you can just add them some uh, some feed so that to boost uh, to boost what they can uh, the 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 chickens or the hens uh, find for themselves so in this form of uh, when you're keeping local birds you can keep them either as free range birds that's when you will leave them you will just uh, have them uh, leave or you have them just uh, move around your backyard while they source for feeds or they source for food or you can have them in a semi free range system where you pro you provide feeds and then you let them out or you can have in in an intensive setup in the intensive setup they'll grow faster they'll grow like uh, they'll take like one month less to reach maturity level uh, compared to when they are they are uh, free range birds but you'll find that the advantages that you have uh, when it comes to feed they'll consume lower uh, am amounts of feeds con co compared to the exotic birds even if they are uh, they are in, uh, in the intensive feeding system the only disadvantage is you find that they are laying will be uh, shorter or be, they'll not produce as much eggs as uh, the exotic birds because they go broody they will want to lay on their eggs and when they want to lay on their eggs they'll definitely uh, stop laying so that's what we had for today as backyard uh, backyard farms and i hope you have enjoyed i hope you have learned something and please consider subscribing to our channel consider subscribing to backyard farms and uh, let's uh, help the channel grow let's help the channel grow so that we can reach as many aspiring farmers so that we can reach as many uh, farmers as possible so that we can learn together as uh, farmers so uh, that's all that we had for this day and i hope you have a blessed day wherever you are and remember every space that you have no matter how small the space is you can do something you can do some amount of farming there so there is no little space and there is no much space so every space that you have no matter how small no matter how little remember that's what bucket poultry is all about using of all the spaces that you have no matter how small no matter how big the spaces can be used uh, to keep your poultry and at the end of the day they can lead to you uh, making profit or making uh, a hobby out of poultry farming so uh, thank you again for having time for backyard farms and have a nice day wherever you are thank you